go. President Trump back on offense, hitting Kamala Harris on all the issues. That's the subject of tonight's riff. Just two days after Kamala Harris picked the far-left progressive governor, Tim Walz, Donald Trump stood up for over an hour at the news conference today in Mar-a-Lago and hammered the entire Democratic ticket. And I mean hammered. On the economy, inflation, open borders, crime, foreign wars all across the board, you could almost call it a fresh campaign reset. Here's just a little bit of the hammer. Kamala's record is horrible. She's a radical left person at a level that nobody's seen. She picked a radical left uh, man that is, uh, he's got things done that he, he has positions that are just not, it's not even possible to believe that they exist. Kamala has been the presumptive Democratic nominee for 18 days, still hasn't yet faced a press conference or any media questions at all, for that matter. Mr. Trump had no teleprompter, looked like he just had one page of notes, answered all the questions, still standing tall at the end of the 64-minute presser. Joe Biden couldn't do it. Kamala Harris won't do it. Donald Trump did it, did it well. Now, for my taste, could have been a little growthier. Then again, I always want growthier. He did, however, have a very good tax cut section. Take a listen to this tax cut stuff. Love this. No, our tax, our tax uh, cuts, which are the biggest in history, our tax cuts are coming due, as you know, very soon. If they don't renew them, uh, it's the equivalent of having a four times tax increase from what you have right now, and it'll destroy the economy. But in all the years of studying politics, I've never seen people get elected by saying, we're going to give you a tax increase. Right. I've said a million times, tax cutters win elections, tax hikers lose them. Glad Ms. Trump still agrees. America's great middle class has been swept up by high prices and shrinking paychecks for the entire Biden-Harris term, and lately, they've been hurt by rising unemployment. Among those without college degrees, which covers nearly 70% of the workforce, the unemployment rate has jumped from 3.3% to 4.6%. That's a big recession threat. I think Mr. Trump should keep going growthier to the great middle America and the great middle class working folks. Lower taxes mean higher paychecks. Reopening liquid gold means cheaper energy and an end to the Biden-Harris affordability crisis. Rolling back Biden's nearly two trillion in red tape and regulations. A boon to small businesses. Left-wing progressives like Kamala Harris and Governor Waltz always blame business rather than their own tax and spend so-called modern monetary theory, progressivist policies that are always doomed to failure. Keep that hammer down, Mr. Trump. Keep it down. Finally, as Brian told us, Mr. Trump offered debate on Fox News September 4th, NBC September 10th, ABC September 25th, a Veep debate on CBS for his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance. So far, haven't heard a debating peep from the Kamala crowd. And that's the riff.